Hi guys, it's Nicole Costa. And today I want to talk to you about intermittent fasting. It's something that I have been doing for two years, almost two years, and I have found it life-changing. So I typically hate to talk about nutrition because I think it's about as controversial as politics and religion these days. And unnecessarily so, but there's a lot of bullying on social media, I feel like, between different nutrition protocols. Um, I feel like from the macro counters, they want everybody to count macros and they think that's the only way. And um, they can get kind of mean about it. So this is something that works for me and I feel like it's been life-changing for me. So if it can help you out, I'm definitely willing to share and see if it would be of help to you too. So firstly, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is really basically just the cycle of feeding and fasting. So you're already doing it because you do fast from the time of your last meal of the night to the time of your next meal the next day. Um, now, whatever that window is, you could change it to elongate it to get the benefits of intermittent fasting. So my window is the most popular probably, the 8-16 split or 16-8 split meaning that I fast for 16 hours and I eat during an eight hour window. And for me, that is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that works for my schedule, my eating patterns. I'm not a nighttime eater, so I like to finish early on and I sleep better when I don't have a lot of stuff in my stomach. So if I, I finish at five, I go to sleep at nine. That works for me. And I also train fasted in the morning. At 5.30, I train fasted on BCAAs. I do allow myself black coffee and branch chain amino acids that are calorie free or maybe five calories during my workout. Um, so you can drink zero calorie beverages on your fast. What are some of the benefits of fasting? Uh, I will share with you a few of them, um, but there are so much more online. If you Google intermittent fasting and benefits of inter intermittent fasting, you'll find so many health benefits to this. Most people do it to lose weight. Um, I personally do it to maintain my weight um, with minimal effort. So depending on why you're doing it, you can also in achieve so many health benefits while doing this. Intermittent fasting can change the function of your cells and your genes, so insulin resistance can drop and human growth hormone can actually increase, which is, I know, a big fear of bodybuilders thinking about intermittent fasting. You can actually increase your growth hormone while fasting. Intermittent fasting can help you lose fat and belly weight. Uh, for some, it can decrease the calories because you're shortening your, your window of eating time, so you might eat less calories. You don't have to. Um, you can eat the same amount of calories you normally would, just shorten the window. I find it difficult to, over, to overeat in an eight hour window. Um, so it's, I think that's one of the benefits is that it's harder to overeat because when you have a cutoff time, your body just can only handle so much during an eight hour period. You know, where before if you had a 12 hour span that you were eating, it's a lot easier to eat bigger meals because you space it out, you know, and your hunger allows you to eat again. But in an eight hour window, it's so much shorter that it can be very hard to overeat. So there's another pro. Intermittent fasting can reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Because the body is allowed a chance, a longer chance, to assimilate and absorb the nutrients that it's been fed in the eight hour window, it is a lot easier for the body to decrease the inflammation that can happen when we're eating over and over and over because our body never has a chance to get a break. So the fasting window is so great for inflammation and also heart health, uh, brain health. It can possibly prevent Alzheimer's disease. And even best overall is that it may improve your lifespan. It may increase your lifespan because with all of these other health benefits, you may be able to live a longer and healthier life. I love that there's a time boundary rather than food restriction focus. When I took the restriction off of the food and just focused it on eating within a certain time, for some reason it just clicked in my brain that I was no longer obsessed with food. You know, I never had to think, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. You know, it was just, you're good if you eat within this window. Now I was choosing healthy things because I've been doing this for almost 20 years, eating healthy and in fitness for 20 years, but 
when I took the, the restrictions off of good foods and bad foods and all those labels and just focused on the time frame, I was naturally making good choices because I was less stressed about the bad choices. Um, I don't even like to call it that, but <laughs> the less than good choices. Um, and it just, it was so much less stressful for me. So there's number one, no food obsession. Number two, what I love is that I actually know what hunger feels like. You know, a lot of times we eat out of appetite and we, we kind of confuse what appetite is, appetite and hunger. And so if you have a craving and you've just eaten, that's not hunger, that's appetite. But when you have been fasting for about 15 and a half hours, 16 hours, you know what hunger feels like. And you've trained fasted, your body will tell you, you are hungry, legitimately hungry. <laughs> because I drink a ton of water during that time and I still know that my body is now reaching and asking for food, specifically food. <laughs> so there's no question about it. You know what hunger feels like and you can differentiate it from appetite later in the day. This goes back to the food obsession, but it intermittent fasting affects your hormones that um, are in charge of your fat storage and your hunger. So leptin and ghrelin are the two hormones that intermittent fasting can help you with because it regulates those hormones. I notice that I get full quicker, I'm more satiated after a meal, and for a longer period of time, I would say, because I think my body is so used to going so long without food that during my feeding window, you know, two, three hours is no big deal to go without food. Like, your hunger is just controlled. What do I think are the cons of intermittent fasting? Hmm. I got nothing. <laughs> I think intermittent fasting is the best thing ever. So no, I have no cons. But if you look online, you will find some cons. And just like anything, you will find what you're looking for. If you're looking for the benefits of intermittent fasting online, you will find it. And if you're looking for the cons, you will find it. If you're trying to tell yourself this will never work for me and let me find out everything bad about it, you'll find bad stuff because that's what we do. We find things to um, support our own beliefs. So look for the benefits and see if it will work for you. That leads me to, will intermittent fasting work for you? Um, I think it depends on your personal eating style, how you like to eat. Um, are you a nighttime eater? I think that's actually a great lifestyle to have intermittent fasting because you can use those hours from let's say 12 p.m. to 8 p.m and that would be your feeding window if you like to eat at night or you have a lot of social events, and dinners that you go to. Um, just tailor it to your lifestyle. I personally am a morning person. I like to get to bed early, so I have my window toward the morning. But that's something you can play with around with your diet and your own lifestyle. I've personally tried paleo, low carb, uh, Weight Watchers. Um, I never was a big fan of counting macros because I feel like it took me way too long and I worked way too hard and long to not document everything that I ate. I feel like I was way obsessed with that for, for many years um, and that robbed me of the joy of living and food altogether. So I personally do not count macros, um, but I do believe that there's something out there for everybody. Some people love counting macros. It gives them some certainty about the numbers that they're gonna eat. Um, you know, so it really is just gonna, you know, be something that makes sense for you. I don't believe that the definition of something that works is something that makes you lose fat. That's typically the definition that we use. Does this diet work? Can you lose weight with this diet? Well, you can lose weight with almost any diet, to be honest, but can you keep it off? Can you do this for life? That's my definition of what works. So intermittent fasting works <laughs> for me, because I can see myself doing this for life. This is something I can't even see myself not doing, if that makes sense. So uh, when you find something that you can see yourself doing forever and it almost seems effortless, that's what I consider what works for you. So if that's paleo and you love to eat paleo, that works for you. <laughs> but you're not gonna know until you try it. So it is a lot of trial and error. I've spent years doing trial and error with <laughs> so many different diets. It all is gonna be what works for you. So I'm very curious to see if any of you are intermittent fasters or what your experience has been if you've ever tried it. Um, leave a comment for me below and let me know. I love to hear your feedback and answer your questions. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye.